Listen, I know I've said in the past that while reading to improve your focus, you should keep your phone as far away from you as possible. But I have come to realize that while yes, your phone is very distracting, it is also a tool and it can be used to help you focus while reading. Yes, really. Not convinced? Maybe by the end of this video, you will be. So let's say you're getting ready to read. You've got a block of time set to do it. You've got your book, you're ready to go. But your brain just won't stop thinking. You're looking at that plant that needs watering, those cat toys that need putting away, or perhaps you're wondering if you should pick up a different book. I've been in this situation more times than I can count and instead of just getting on with reading, I find myself mindlessly scrolling for at least half of that time. So here's my solution for that before reading moment where you're trying to get focused and get started reading. It has worked for me, so maybe it will work for you too. It's an app called Breathe, Relax and Focus. It's real simple. You open the app, pick a breathing exercise and calm that brain right down. Honestly, these breathing exercises are the type of thing that you can do without an app to help you, but I find that the app gives you a little bit of a nudge to get it done. Once your brain is calm, it's like you've switched into reading mode. So don't waste time, immediately open the book and get going. Okay, so let's say your brain is calm and you're reading, but you get distracted or lose focus while doing it. My next solution is essentially an app that lets you set up your own reading sprints. Reading sprints are essentially a block of time where you'll read, say, 30 minutes, and then a block of time where you'll have a break, say, five minutes, and then you rinse and repeat. I do these during my readathon weekend, and they're so helpful for focused reading. This is also known as the Pomodoro technique, and it works by helping you sustain focus without the mental fatigue. So if you find yourself getting distracted or you struggle to focus, this next app could be the solution. The app I think does the best job of this is Minimalist Pomodoro Timer. There are loads of Pomodoro Timer apps you can download, but I like this one because it's super simple. When reading, I don't really want anything cute or distracting on the Pomodoro app to take my eyes away from the book. However, if you do want something cute, Pomo Cat is pretty freaking adorable and has added white noise sounds if you need them. So we're relaxed, we're focused, but we might also need to start taking some notes. If you're a book reviewer like me, you might use your phone to make notes on the book you're reading. This is if you don't use something like a reading journal or a notepad. In this case, simple wins. Taking notes while reading should not distract you from reading your book, and it shouldn't interrupt the reading flow whatsoever. I personally use Google Keep for this purpose. It has an incredibly simple interface but allows you to sync with Google Drive so you can write reviews from your notes quickly. You don't need a huge number of features that other note apps give you, you just need a really simple and intuitive way to just write some notes while you're reading and get back to reading. Although honestly, pen and paper are always the best option if you find your phone really that distracting. So if you're looking at your phone for the Pomodoro app or your note-taking app, you'll want a way to make your phone look less appealing and more neutral. There are lots of apps out there that help with reducing screen brightness and color, but one I like for its simplicity is Easy Eyes. This kind of app is particularly useful if you read in the late evening or late at night because the last thing we want is for our phones to keep us awake and mess up our body clock. Now let's say you're happy reading, you're in the zone, but something audio is distracting you. Perhaps you're yowling cat, I'm looking at you Berlin, or someone outside, or just some weird house noises. This happens to me all the time. I'm reading and I'm happy, but then something audio distracts me and I'm pulled out of the book and struggle to focus again. If this happens, ambient noise apps work a treat. I like sleep sounds, but there are lots to pick from. These kind of apps are designed to help you sleep, but I find them very useful for reading too. They're relaxing and tend to just muffle other sounds in the room while using it. They work even better when you're using headphones. But what if you want to keep things even more simple? You don't want to use Pomodoro apps, you don't want to use muffling sounds, and you certainly don't want to take notes. But you do feel that pull towards your phone. This is perhaps the most obvious app on my list, but it is the app blocker. Now, there are app blockers pretty much built into your phone now, but for our purposes, I'm not sure they do a good enough job. What we want is an app blocker that allows you to select specific apps that we want to block during the period of time when we're reading. My favorite for this job is Freedom. This app lets you create lists of apps and websites you want to block so that should you still want to use something like the Pomodoro timer, you can. You can then turn the blocker on and off at will. 
It's the perfect solution for when you want to have some focused reading time and you don't want your phone to distract you, but you do want your phone close by. So what do you think? Have you tried any of these or are you thinking of trying them now? Or are there any other apps that you use to stop you feeling distracted while reading? Leave them in the comments because you never know who you're helping. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.